Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So this is Blood and Venom, Variant 5, Chapter 3, Quest Number 1. And we're going to go through the path that I consider to be the easiest for your initial clear. But before we get in there, I wanted to point out a restriction that you have when you are going to do this quest. You can only bring in mystics, symbiotes, or Spider-Verse heroes. So a lot of the traditional counters that you may have grown accustomed to, you may not be able to bring in for this quest. All right, so let's dive in. Now, one way to identify the easy path is to look at the star chest that's on the path. And if you'll look at the leftmost path, you'll see you have a one star chest. So that's the path that Kabam has indicated is going to be the easiest out of all the paths. Now, you may come to a quest where the they have no one star and the lowest they have is a two star. Well, that one will be the easiest. You still want to look at the paths because the opponents and your roster and the champions you're able to bring in make a difference as to what path you may consider the easiest okay but this is the path that i chose and what you're going to be dealing with here is limber and flux dispersal so limber if you're not familiar with it what that does is every time you stun them they're going to reduce the duration of the stun every time until eventually you're not going to be able to stun them for long enough to get an attack in. Now, in any other situation, um, you have options like Domino with the Masakri synergy. Um, that works out great because you have infinite parries. However, you can't bring them in. All right. Now, uh, there is one, I believe... Um, with Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, and you might be able to bring Miles Morales in. Uh, but as you can see here, it's not that difficult to deal with. What you want to do is just avoid parrying too often. You know, bait out their specials, hit into their block to build up their uh, power meter so that you can bait out their specials. Try to bait out heavies, okay? And as you can see here, I didn't have any difficulty whatsoever taking down that quake. All right, so first fight is down, and we're going to keep on going. Now, the flux dispersal, that one may give you a little bit of um, challenge. But basically, the more you hit them, the less damage they're going to take. And when you heavy them, it gets reset and you'll be doing your maximum amount of damage. But as you hit them, the amount of damage you do to them will keep getting less and less until you're not doing any damage to them at all. So what you want to do when you're fighting here is to fire off heavy attacks to reset it. Now, that's why the limber combined with the heavy can be challenging, especially if you are used to doing a parry to get your heavy attack in. So another way to deal with it is to bring in a high damage champion like you see me doing here. Because what that means is that you're gonna be doing a lot of damage in a short bit of time, and then you can parry, heavy, reset it, and they're probably not going to last long enough to cause you any concern. Um, but that's if you have a nice, you know, burst champion. And you see there, I did a, a heavy. Uh, you can get heavies in without having to parry and stun them. Uh, you can do that after their specials if you know how to time it just right. Okay, see how I did right there? I timed it right after her special. So I didn't have to use a uh, parry in order to get the heavy off. Okay, so that's the kind of thing you want to do. Um, like I said, it can be a little challenging, but it's not too bad once you get used to uh, the timing of these champions. And none of them on this path are very difficult to fight. 
Okay, Ghost here, not a problem. All of her specials are easy to evade. You saw that I was able to time uh, my heavy attack right after her special. She couldn't recover fast enough. So that's what you can do uh, as well. Uh, as far as counters go, you can do these with pretty much any champion that you can bring in here. None of these uh, opponents are that difficult to fight. Now, uh, when you're dealing with Yandu, for example, you might want to bring in someone who's bleed immune, but you can do it without a bleed immune. Now, I went in with Black Widow Clairvoyant because she starts out bleed immune. Okay, but you'll notice I switched to poison. So now I'm not bleed immune. Okay, um, now I'm going to incinerate, which is her damage phase, and I switch right back to blood. Okay, just cycle through. All right, and now keep in mind, if you're playing with her, the amount that you heal is based on your damage. And remember the flux dispersal. So you don't want to do too many hits or else you're not going to be doing a lot of damage. Now, this is the first time I'm fighting with Black Widow Clairvoyant on a flux dispersal node. So I'm learning this myself because this is during my initial clear. All right. And I'm also doing this live, which is why you don't have any sound uh, game sound here. Um, I won't do that again. Let me tell you. So uh, pretty much, as you can see here, she's got enough uh, charges before she did that heavy. There were enough of those uh, dispersal charges that she wasn't even doing any uh, damage. So I had to do a heavy attack before I could fire off and actually do some uh, decent damage. Now, what I should have done with her, and I'm not used to fighting with her, and then you see I got caught there, and then boom. Once he had that special two, it was lights out. I can't evade it, and it did too much damage, so he took me out. But what I should have done there was I should have gone in and uh, rotated to her uh, incinerate, which is her damage mode, then stayed there until I needed to heal and then switch to the blood and do the heal. And so what I would have done is just before I fire off my special two, parry heavy to reset it, intercept with my special two in the incinerate mode and I would have been doing max damage and then do that as often as I could. Okay. So now that Black Widow is down, I'm having to go in here with another bleed, uh, not a bleed immune champion. And as you can see here, you can do it just fine. He is a bursty champion, just like Spider-Man Stark Enhanced is. And so the only thing that you want to avoid is pushing Yondu to a special two. You saw what that did to me. Not only did I get caught earlier, but then he got a special two and that was it. All right. So you can see here, um, we don't have that many charges, uh, dispersal charges up. Okay. Um, but it's getting up there, but I'm still doing quite a bit of damage. All right. Now I pushed him to a special two, which I didn't want to do. Okay. But I'm going in hard and we got him down. Okay. So I went there. It was a risky play but it paid off in that uh, situation. Also, I did have a uh, dex charge, a, a spidey sense, and uh, I could have evaded, you know, but it was still risky because he may not <laughs> uh, evade all of that special too, and then you get wrecked. All right, so we got through that fight, and so the next fight and uh, I'm usually interacting at this point with my uh, chat. Uh, so that's why you see sometimes the pauses in there. Uh, but we're going to be fighting Captain America. Again, not a hard champion to fight. But with that limber and flux dispersal, if you're not used to that style of fighting, uh, it can be a little uh, busy, I would say. And I don't always do that well when I have to switch up my normal play style. Uh, you know, you play a certain way for pretty much all of the time, but then you have to change it for just a few fights and you go right back to the way that you were before, you know? Uh, so I decided to go in here with Stealth Suit Spidey. 
and I healed him up a little bit. And the reason that I went in with him is because I really want to get used to fighting with him. He's actually a really good champion, but I don't really use him all that much. And I took him to rank five because I knew he was good. And I did have a, a couple of uh, fights that I wanted to use him for, but he's actually pretty good. And you see there, I just got caught. Uh, this is something that the AI has been doing. They intercept uh, with their specials. Uh, and I just got caught there. And I was just like, oh, I was like, man, I wasn't really paying attention. You don't normally want to attack them when they have a special like that. You want to try to bait that special out because that is a possibility. So I'm like, all right, well, you know, wasted all of those uh, health potions, but not a big deal. I have them. Uh, so I'm going in here with uh, Dr. Voodoo next. Now, I love Dr. Voodoo. If you watched my previous uh, videos in this series, you know Dr. Voodoo was MVP for Chapter 2. Hands down, the best champion you can have for that quest, uh, for that entire chapter, in fact. Uh, here, um, he's still doing well, but you know, it's more along the lines of what Dr. Voodoo can normally do. So the first thing I did, I wanted to get his power under control. So I fired off a special two, even combo, and now he's not getting anything. You see, I did that, um, nullified, special one. Now we've got some uh, poisons ticking away, but he's got those dispersal charges. And I'm not really paying that much attention because what I need to be doing is that hitting that heavy so that, you know, we can start doing a uh, good damage. So here we go, boom, another special two, and it's lights out for Captain America. Okay, love Dr. Voodoo. Uh, Dr. Voodoo is a beast. He's not a new champion, but he's still a very good champion. All right, so next up, we're gonna be fighting Elektra. Now, here's something about Elektra that I really dislike. She shuts down your ability accuracy by a great amount. What that amounts to is a very annoying fight where you cannot rely on parries. So you have Limber already, and you have this Flux Dispersal, but then you're not going to be able to parry her uh, reliably. But you can time it so if she does a heavy attack, you can time your heavy to counter her heavy attack. Uh, I'm not extremely good at it, but you can do it. Now, we got the parry there, okay? So that was awesome. So what we're gonna try and do here, you know, just bait out specials. Uh, they're not that difficult to evade. We got a nice little reparry there, all right? And I'm hitting into her block a little bit, uh, and then I did a, a intercept, and that's pretty much what you want to do, okay? So now we want to bait out the special. Uh, now, her special two is easy to evade as well. Um, so you see here, boom, that's what you need to do, all right? Now we can do full damage to her, and we can counter her heavy with a heavy. You don't have to worry about parry stun if you have that timing down. Uh, but like I said, I'm not uh, as well versed in that timing as I would like. So I'm still relying a little bit on the parry when I can get the parry off because I don't always get the parry. All right. And so here we go. Still wanting to keep the uh, power on uh, lockdown. Now I'm running suicide. So that means that the more specials I throw, the more damage I do to myself. Recoil does damage on every special except the special three. So if you are running this and you don't run suicides, run and fire your specials off freely. But you can see I was basically killing myself. There's a lot of block damage. So you see at the end here, I'm trying to um, intercept a little bit more. All right. But she has no power. So I'm actually boxing myself in a corner by power burning her because now I can't uh, bait out her specials. So what I'm trying to do here, you know, I can't take any hits really. Um, I might be able to take one or two hits on my block, but I need her to, look at that, one, and now the next one is gonna kill me. Uh, I just need her to fire off a heavy, but she's not firing her heavy off. 
So I pretty much did this to myself, got myself in this situation, you know, boom, and he's done. I got tired of trying to bait her out with that heavy. All that was going to happen uh, in my experience is she was going to back me up into a corner and then just start rapid attacking me. She's going to hit my block and that was going to be it. Now, if I was a better player, I could have intercepted a bit more, um, especially off the wall. I could evade and all that good stuff. Um, don't ask me what happened here. Uh, I was sitting here chatting with my uh, people and I'm like, OK, you know, we should be able to get this one uh, pretty, pretty well. And she just took out my venom. And that kind of irritated me because I was planning to use venom later for the boss. And so I'm just like, I don't believe that just happened. I'm like, OK, well, whatever. We've got, as you see, plenty of. Uh, health potions there of the top variety, you know, so no big deal. You know, we'll just go in. We've got plenty and the rewards are worth it. Uh, I have not needed. I haven't needed to use uh, any units on uh, this variant uh, to progress. And I don't think I had to use any units to even buy refills. So variant one, I used units. Variant two, I used units. Variant one, I think I ended up using like 4,000 units. Uh, and that included uh, uh, refills as well as uh, revives and health potions. Variant two, I think it was like a little over 1,000. Uh, but variant three, zero uh, units, I used five revives. Variant four, um, I think I did use some refills, units for refills on variant three. Variant four, none because I had had a big opening of uh, arena crystals and had a ton of energy refills in my inventory and in my overflow. So none needed for variant four. And I can't remember, but I don't believe I needed any for variant five. I took it slow and on stream I was doing, um, I think, a chapter per stream, something like that. Uh, so, um, but for the initial clear, uh, I don't remember, um, if I used, uh, any units for energy, uh, refills, uh, but I never had to buy, uh, any revives, uh, for variant five, not even in, uh, exploration. All right. So here we go fighting, uh, Nebula and she's not difficult to fight. Uh, that Electra was a little tricky, um, but she's not that bad. You see the damage that is being done to me just hitting into my block. I personally really, really hate that uh, because it means their attack values are crazy high and they are doing uh, sometimes more damage than I can do hitting them, okay? But you see there, I was able to heal up a little bit, and that's why I chose Black Widow Clairvoyant. But now we've got the Flux Dispersal Charges. So, boom. Now they're gone. All right? And we need to get in there. Boom. Fire off that Special 2, which not only heals us up, but also puts a buff immunity on her. So, if she wants to try and heal, she's not going to heal. All right? But it doesn't last that long. All right? And you see her? She is just going crazy but I'm able to time the heavy at the end and you can see I'm firing off a heavy then doing the uh, special two. That is what I needed to do in the previous fight but in a different mode so I can do the most damage but because she is doing so much damage against my block, I didn't want to, ooh, and I just mistimed that one, uh, but I didn't want to risk it so I stayed in blood and you see there, I didn't do any, I didn't get healed up a lot, but that's because I didn't do the heavy first. I got panicky because my health is so low and I'm like, okay, I need to fire off my special two and get some health, but you only heal up based on how much damage you do. But she had a lot of flux dispersal and I just didn't do uh, any damage. So I didn't heal up any. And then I, I got, um, I think I got parried and that was all she wrote. So I'm like, okay, whatever. 
So uh, use another uh, revive and another heal and uh, just keep on going. Uh, still, all of these variants after two, I've liked. I did not like variant one and I did not like variant two, but variant three, four, and this one here, five, no problem, loved them. So I went back in again and just look at that, so much damage um, with Black Widow Clairvoyant because of course she can heal, did the heavy and you'll see here uh, what I was talking about. Uh, I'm just going in for, for broke here, okay? So she doesn't have that many uh, dispersals, so I figured, boom, got her down, okay? So, you know, we ended up using a revive on her, but no big deal. And now we are coming to the final boss. And remember, I wanted to fight this guy uh, with Venom, but uh, Venom is down right now. So here are the buffs that you're going to have to deal with. You got the global, and I did mention I was going to talk about the global, and it would help here if I used it. All right, you got Spry, uh, the best defense, Energize, Kinetic Transference, and Limber. We already talked about Limber, Kinetic Transference. Every time they hit into your block, they're going to be gaining power. Energize, they're going to be gaining more power. Very, very annoying, uh, let me tell you. Um, but uh, Spry they're going to evade. They're going to have a, a higher chance to evade. And when they do evade, they're going to put a fatigue debuff on you. And you're going to um, basically be doing less damage when they do that. So you want to avoid them evading you. Uh, and of course, when they have spider sense up, you see that? Those evades. Now, I, I managed to evade that, but he's going to have spider sense up a lot. That caught me by surprise. Because normally when you fight this particular Spider-Man, you don't have to worry about Spider-Sense, um, but for a few times. But you've got a lot of uh, nodes that are uh, helping his evade. And you see how much power he has there? All right. And see, look at that. Boom. Just took me out. Um, because he's getting a lot more power, he's firing more specials, so you have to deal with the Spider-Sense. It's just a mess. Now, with Venom, you don't have to worry about him evading because he can't evade. Now, the global, what the global will do, and I didn't use it and I should have, but if you don't have Venom, for example, bring in a Spider-Verse champion, you build up the mitosis, I think mitosis charges or whatever, and the more charges you have, the longer the buff you'll get when you have a Spider-Verse champion, dash and hold block. And for as many seconds as you had the um, charges for getting, you know, with the mitosis, I forget uh, the details of it, it will shut them down, their defense. So basically, he won't be evading. So if you don't have Venom, where he's not going to evade anyway against Venom, say you were going in there with Black Widow Clairvoyant, like I did, or Spider-Man uh, Stealth Suit, or Starkey, or any other mystic. Uh, not Mystic, but uh, Spider-Verse champion. Uh, not Black Widow. Um, I don't think she's Spider-Verse. Um, but the two Spider-Men, you could easily use that uh, against them, um, against this uh, boss. All right, so you see here he has Spider-Sense, but he's not evading. But I messed up there because I can't seem to stop trying to evade his special one. Knowing how much block damage these guys are doing because their attack values are just crazy... I tried to evade it, and I almost always mess up trying to evade it. Uh, if you're far enough back, it's easier to evade. But if you're dashing back to get away from him, and then he fires it off, you're going to get wrecked. Um, but Venom, in my opinion, is probably going to be the easiest uh, time that you'll have here. Okay, so here... Um, I have to bait out that special uh, two, all right? And you don't want to keep parrying too much because he's getting power every time you do that because of that kinetic uh, transference, all right? So uh, it's actually easier to push him to a special two because of that, the energize and the kinetic transference. So you see how, so we shouldn't have to worry about that special one. So that is what I recommend. Use Venom. 
and just keep baiting his special two. Push him to a special two, bait that out. It's very easy to evade and you should have uh, no difficulty there. Unlike me, all right? So I still sometimes have trouble and uh, especially when I'm doing this live because my attention is never fully on the fight when I'm live. I'm always somewhat looking at the chat, somewhat, you know, or at least having the chat in mind, you know, so I'm fighting. Now that time I did not try to evade his special one. All right. Uh, and like I said, that's what I would recommend you guys do. All right. So here we go. He was in, he was blocking. We evaded that and uh, we're just going for broke. Okay. Not sure what happened there, but we actually got lucky and evaded his special one. You know, we could have got wrecked like we did the first time, but that is going to do it. I hope this helps you guys out in your initial clear. Uh, feel free to hit the like button if it helps you out. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.